We are three days away from the first Mightiest Governor featuring a Manatory, and I am going to make the bold claim that Zenobia is here to stay. Now guys, originally I wasn't going to make this video, right? It seems like every other Rise of Kingdoms content creator is making their predictions for how good Gilgamesh is going to be and who he's going to be paired with and how good Amanatore is going to be and what her mechanics might look like and who she could be paired with, like with Artemisia and things like that, right? So everyone's kind of talking about this and I figured that, you know, why throw another one of the exact same video out there when I don't really know what's going to happen, right? I mean, we looked at Pakal when he came out, he was on paper, he was broken, they nerfed him at the last second. And so, you know, we don't don't really know right but today I came across a video and I'm gonna give a huge shout out to them rock battle simulator posted a video uh, today talking about pre-release information and essentially I'm gonna link their video down below and I don't want to leak anything you know I want you guys to go over there and support that channel because a lot of work obviously went into this uh, but essentially what this YouTube channel does it basically simulates the rise of kingdoms battle formula in a 1v1 scenario and it tries to replicate every single thing that you could possibly want to replicate replicate as far as equipment talents randomness RNG all that stuff right now of course it's not perfect you can't possibly simulate rise of kingdoms it's just too complicated there's like reinforcements with rallies and with garrisons and not everyone has perfect equipment and there's not always gonna be special talents and it's it's a lot to simulate right so it's a rough approximation right but a lot of work has clearly gone into this formula and into this Excel uh, spreadsheet if you want to see the full results of the Gilgamesh pre-release simulation again I'll link it down below but watching that video made me realize a couple of things uh and it made me sort of think about what the future of rise of kingdoms uh, meta is going to be right because we've seen um obviously zenobia and yss that has been the garrison meta for a long time and i would argue that it's sort of been a garrison meta because of zenobia right it's been historically in the last year or so it's been easier to be on defense than it is to be on offense not only because you take less deads but also because zenobia is just so powerful and it's been incredibly hard to crack her with Zeno with yss as a secondary so we're looking at these two new archer commanders right and we're looking at gilgamesh it looks like he is built to counter zenobia's uh, kit it looks like emanatore is built to be an incredibly powerful garrison commander and so the knee-jerk reaction from the entire community was Zenobia's over party, right? And also a Manatore with uh with Artemisia could be OP because of the self-silence. That's not gonna happen on 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 Artemisia. Uh it's it there's a lot that we are theorizing, right? And I think a lot of people jump to this conclusion because we've seen Zenobi for a long time and we're pretty much just like waiting with our breath held like okay is it is this going to be the comma that breaks it is this going to be the comma that breaks it who's going to break Zenobia when is the medic going to change okay and I think that that's a reasonable position to be in because Rise of Kingdoms is constantly implementing new commanders all the time uh, but I don't necessarily think the way that we play the game is going to change because of these two new commanders now again I'm not going to spoil the results from the battle simulator but what I will say is that a Gilgamesh Ramses combo seems like it is going to absolutely destroy uh Zenobia YSS Garrison it seems to be the case and and let me just be clear when I say destroy right because I think there's a lot of misunderstanding when people say like a counter to Zenobia right um we already have rallies that sometimes trade positive with Zenobia right I mean XY and Chandragupta are absolutely it's a savage combination right and if it's got the right equipment and it's well reinforced you can go positive against a Zenobia right um but I think that the what the community is is what they mean by countering Zenobia is a rally combination that can easily beat Zenobia right not one where you need to fight tooth and nail you have to own the field you have to do everything right you have to have all golden special talented legendary equipment like with relative ease you could beat Zenobia that's what the community I think means by a counter to Zenobia so I think that Ramses and Gilgamesh is going to be a very obvious counter to Zenobia. Now, it seems like Ramses' primary should be better um, because of the timing of the skills. You sort of want to have the healing silence um, go off before Zenobia's skill cycle goes off with Ramses' primary, right? Because he shoots his talent out or his skill out first. Um, but, the, you know, obviously it doesn't really matter. We need to test it when it comes into the game to see how it actually works. The other reason that I think that Ramses Gilgamesh is going to absolutely destroy Zenobia is because of obviously this 
uh, blood craving debuff I think uh, is going to probably trigger even if Ramses cancels out Zenobia's healing right because typically when you use Ramses and he affects the um, healing immunity on the target they still trigger their healing they just don't heal so I think what's probably gonna happen is that uh, Ramses could potentially prevent Zenobia from getting any heal at all and when it triggers Gilgamesh deals damage from that trigger that is an assumption okay before you write the comment that is an assumption that could be how it works and you know if that's the case I think that a Ramses Gilgamesh combination is going to destroy Zenobia so why did I say at the beginning of this video that Zenobia is going to stay garrison meta uh, the reason is because I don't think we're going to have an easily accessible replacement for Zenobia YSS, right? The reason that we're using as a community Zenobia YSS is because it's the best garrison combination right now. It is right. So in order to have Zenobia replaced, even if she's countered by Gilgamesh and Ramses, or even if it's Gilgamesh YSG, Gilgamesh Syra, whoever, Gilgamesh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Gilgamesh Nebu, for example, um, even if she's pretty easily countered I don't know if we have a better replacement for Zenobia YSS now you could say Yabiga right which is fair uh, but how many of your garrison captains in your kingdom um, are ready to jump on the Yadviga bandwagon um, and start testing that out, right? They gonna, they're gonna have to build um, a, a cavalry set for Garrison if they don't have it already. And historically, cavalry haven't been the Garrison meta like pretty much ever, right? So how, how long is that really going to last? I don't think that a Yadviga Garrison, if the community at large decides to shift that way, I don't think it's going to last very long, right? Because it's just not something that, you know, is really, it's not something we've seen too often, right? I think more than likely what's going to happen is the game itself is going to shift from a garrison heavy meta to a rally heavy meta. And we've seen this before. We saw this with Attila Takeda, right? Back when Attila Takeda could be used in like earlier kvks right in kvk3 and you could use the tilda very early whereas right now you can only use them in season of conquest but when they first came out there was just not a great way to counter them and the game in that moment was in a rally meta because the rally combination um was so hard to defeat right now we're in a garrison heavy meta and be because obviously zenobia yss is so hard to beat so i think what's going to happen is Zenobia and YSS are going to stay the garrison meta, but the game is going to shift to a rally meta and players are just going to have to figure out how to survive in that environment. And it's going to change the game pretty substantially from what I can tell. Now you might be saying Omniarch, well, what about Amanatore? Why can't she replace Zenobia? Well, obviously we have to test her, right? But I just don't see anything in her kit that makes her like so much better than Zenobia YSS, right? And who are you going to pair her with? Artemisia? I don't know. Like, I, I just don't think that a, a mandatory Artemisia is going to be far and away better than Zenobia YSS. And if it is, we can't have a meta where you're rallying with archers and defending with archers, even if a mandatory does remove the attack stacks from uh, Gilgamesh here, which by the way, I think is very odd. So even if a mandatory on her own is very good, I don't think she's going to be much, much, much better than a uh, Zenobia YSS and you know again if the rally meta becomes Gilgamesh with Ramses or Gilgamesh with whoever um, is that combination is a mandatory going to be able to beat uh, Gilgamesh and Ramses easily I don't think it will because there's no like troop synergy there I, I just I don't know I don't think a mandatory is going to take over so again even though I'm predicting that Gilgamesh with Ramses or Nebu is going to have a much easier time defeating Zenobia YSS than anything we've seen before um, I just don't think we're going to stop using Zenobia YSS because of that fact what I think is going to happen is that we're going to shift to a rally meta and it's going to be like that for a little while and that will only change probably when they either release new leadership garrison commanders that pair really well with either Zenobia, YSS, potentially Theodora, for example, or the next set of infantry commanders has a garrison commander that pairs well with Zenobia or YSS or Theodora. I think that is what is going to change the garrison meta. I think it's going to be either another infantry or another leadership commander or combination. 
I don't think that just because Zenobia YSS loses to Gilgamesh that we're going to just, everyone is just going to invest in Yadviga for some reason. I, I don't think that's going to be the case. It's also worth noting that, you know, rise of kingdoms. Now that we've sort of seen a uh, rock, paper, scissors format kind of come up out of nowhere, which has always existed right between the archers, cavalry and uh, infantry. Um, it's much more pronounced with these newer commanders, right? Because they actually in their skills, take more damage and deal more damage to those respective uh, unit types. So now that we, with these two commanders have completed that trio, that trifecta, um, we could see potentially maybe even Lilith releasing fewer commanders or releasing commanders at a slower rate. Uh, and that'll give players time to catch up and kingdoms will sort of have, you know, some garris, some archer players that do both rally and garrison. You'll have some infantry players that do both rally and garrison. Uh, and it'll be sort of up to a kingdom to have a diverse pool of players that focus on a troop type instead of on a rally or garrison type. But at this point, this is all speculation. I have actually no idea. Um, that's just looking forward into the future. What could be coming next? But guys, I would love to hear your predictions down below. Do you think a Manatore and Gilgamesh are going to completely change the game do you think Zenobia is over or do you think that she is still going to be queen of the garrison even if she is much easily countered now more than ever guys if you found this video useful or informative or anything like that make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really does help out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and click that bell to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of kingdoms video as always there's a link down below to download rise of kingdoms for your PC it's a program called blue stocks it does support the channel it's a free way to support the channel channel it's my favorite way to play rise of kingdoms i think you guys are going to like the program if you don't you can uninstall it but i do love blue stacks 5 give it a try also social media links they're down there instagram twitter facebook discord go ahead and follow me there and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon